He's still here. Morning. Working hard as ever? I make the money, not wash the clothes. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. All right, Morgan. Okay, girl. Been a while. Looking to redeem yourself? I got a fresh box of bullets. Woo. Got fresh rounds in my rifle and strong coffee in my gut. Won't What'd say, you say no. to another game? Fire off a few. Happy day. Just like last time, whoever shoots the most bottles wins. All right, stand alongside me. Soon as you pull your weapon and aim, we let fly. Oh, yes! Uh, gah. You ain't lost to losing, I take it. Gah. Well, now I'm miserable. All right, let's raise the stakes. Go again, huh? You're on. Well, that's what I like to hear. We'll do the birds again. First to knock four out of heaven gets the win. Stand close. As soon as you see them, start shooting. Wait for it. There they go. Now. Then I'll give you that one. Here you go, as promised. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next time, I may not hold back. Yep. <laughs> Okay, girl. Get in.
Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Mister. Hi. You can do better than that, mister. Hello. Huh? Hello, again, I guess. Take it easy. I ain't serious. I thought so. Ah, uh, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think... Well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. <sighs> Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat. I'll pull it clean out of his ass, the smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields, said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep, using that back there. The moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, can we just get to the Gray's place? Let's go. I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they're really barely so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still, tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then.
kind of carriage. Get a move on, will you? Second, you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide in the back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold it right there. What you want, boy? I've, uh, I've. Th there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? H here. Uh, 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 have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay, Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy because if some folks got all the money they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable eh? mm. well the average man <coughs> okay. well, hold up in here till it gets dark <coughs> how are you getting on good nearly got these things ready okay Plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. 
And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born born in down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. The wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. That's good for here. Should be enough for here. That should do it. Christ, I'm bolted. Or you give this a quick dousing as well. You think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! Come on! You must have something with a flame, right? <laughs> hey, well, let's go lure yourselves a fat cigar. I got the redhead! What? Deal with these fellas. You keep warning. 
Need to be taking it well. This is a goddamn mess. See, there it is. Maybe they haven't unloaded that cash yet. They didn't tell you there'd be an army of them. They didn't tell me nothing. All right, come on, we'll take those horses. If the payroll is actually in there. Hurry up. Oh boy, we did good, Morgan. We did good. Great, but let's go. <laughs> Yeehaw! Okay, let's get the hell out of here, fast. You're right, follow me. Turn into a right party. You all that a park. Not right, wait, I got our money's worth already. Let's just get out of here first. I think we lost them. Yeah, we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure.
Here we are. Home sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. Will do. Hey, you got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. Good girl. That's a good girl. Mr. Bell. Mr. Swain. Arthur. There he is. Arthur. Hey, get up. Ha! What is it? You were snoring, that's all. Oh, just go away. <laughs> Uncle. All right. Arthur. Arthur. That Braithwaite job was a lot of work for not enough money. I was just doing what Dutch asked us to. You got a brain of your own, don't you? 